morning and good morning everybody I hope you're having a fantastic day today I certainly am I'm having an excellent day today yeah just finished uh, unloading my load yep now I'm making my way down to uh, Jackson Tennessee about 160 miles to go We'll be picking up our load there and we'll be making our way back home again. Yes, sir. That's for sure. Yep. Well, it rained here a little bit uh, last night and I guess it's still raining a little bit rain this morning. But that's all right. We can handle that. As long as it's not ice raining. It was starting to ice rain yesterday a little bit. Yep. But, uh, luckily it didn't do enough ice rain that, uh, that it did any damage. So that's good. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it on the camera. But... The grass is starting to get green there in the ditch. Yep. I love it. Oh, look at that. He's got some kind of big bolts with him. Yep. Yeah, so we'll see what the day will bring us today. I hope the reloading part is not going to take me very long. That way I can do some miles back home today again. I would be happy if I could get past uh, St. Louis tonight. We'll see if that's going to happen. We'll see. Because I'm probably going to come back the same way that I am going right now. So, yep. Yeah, well, we'll just keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best. Apparently they're closing at uh, 3 o'clock, so GPS says I should be there by 1.30 right now. So if that's the case, then uh, you know, by the time I'm checked in and everything, it'll be close to 2 o'clock. So I only have an hour before they go home, so they should load me pretty fast, I think. At least that's a plan, right? Tennessee. I got a little bit of rain there a little bit ago, but no, it stopped again, so we're in the dry again. Yep. Well, guys, I am here in Jackson, uh, Tennessee, and I'm getting me some go-go juice. Look at that. Pumping there some go-go juice at uh, 265 a gallon. Yep. It's probably going to be a lot of fuel today because I'm almost empty. I bet you I'm going to be fueling about 230 gallons here today. So we'll see. But as you can see, I'm not wearing a jacket or anything, you know. It's nice and comfortable out here. Well, guys, there you have it. 218 gallons and it's $580. Yep, quite a bit, eh? But let's go get our fuel receipt and then we'll be making our way down home. Well guys, here we go. Gonna leave the pilot right now. Look at the signing that they got up here. That looks like a brand new coloring that they got on their signs. Yep, on the edge of their building there. That looks a little different than what uh, I'm used to. 
Yeah, this uh, pilot was just down the road from where I picked up my load. I had to fuel up as you guys saw. Fueled her up pretty good and now we're ready to roll. Went inside and had me a bite to Check eat. Christmas Hill Road. Hadn't had anything to eat yet, so went and grabbed me a bite to eat. Now we should be good to go. Let's hope this light will stay green so I can cross over here. There we go. Yep, I'm gonna go turn on to I-40 over here. I don't drive on that very much, but a little bit. To the right on I-40 West. Yeah, we'll see how far I can make her tonight. My goal would be to uh, get past uh, St. Louis tonight, but we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. I don't actually have uh, too bad of a load. It's actually pretty good. Only about 24,000 pounds in the box. That's pretty good. I had like 44,000 coming down there or something like that. So I'll take 24,000 pounds any day of the week, you know. But they even got a Kenworth dealer up here to the right. Yeah. I actually like Kenworth. Very expensive, but they're nice trucks, at least in my opinion. Well, thank you there, car holder. Well for moving over. That's a nice, uh, nice looking truck there that he's got. A lot of times these car holder guys, they don't have very good looking car, uh, trucks, but at least most of them that I've seen. But anyways, it's been pretty cloudy all day. But it's actually not too bad with the temperature. It's nice and comfortable enough to where I can be out there without a jacket. Yeah. Anyways, we'll keep on rolling. Well, my day is officially ended for me. I just uh, had me a nice shower, I shaved, brushed my teeth and all that good stuff. Had me some good dinner up here at the Fly and J. Yep, now I am done. I don't even know exactly what the stone was called. Let me have a look at it and see if I can figure it out or if I can maybe pronounce what this name is called for this city. Yeah, let's have a look and see if my GPS on my phone here Mass Wells, I don't know, I can't pronounce it <laughs> It's M-A-T-T-H-E-W-S Missouri and I'm at the Flying J Yep some of you guys might wonder why I can't pronounce names very well and that has to do with uh, me not being English originally and so I have a harder time pronouncing stuff, you know. But that's the way it is. Sometimes it will give you guys entertainment, something to laugh about and stuff like that if I can't pronounce it right. <laughs> yep, but... I stopped early today. I was going to go try and get past St. Louis, but yeah, I decided, yeah, why not just stop early? I had to do some stuff and I wanted to get that taken care of, and uh, so I did. I got that figured out what I wanted to do. And uh, so, yeah, tomorrow we'll continue on with our journey home, that is. I'll probably be home Saturday afternoon sometime probably but yeah anyways I don't really have much else I'm kind of curious to uh, 
check out to see what the comparison is going to be between this camera and the GoPro 3 and uh, other than that you guys have yourself a good day whatever it is for you if you're watching this in the evening then have a good evening I guess but uh, I'm going to bed here very soon so you guys have a good rest of the day and we will see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. Thank you very much for watching.